Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of Teardown Tuesday. Today we're taking a look at a very common component in a refrigeration system, especially in larger systems, and that's a service valve or an isolation valve, sometimes called a king valve. And the service valve here is interesting because it has a service port up here on the top, and then it has a mechanical adjustment here under this cap, and then it's got a connection for this system here and behind this nut. So the way this is typically used is it's installed at the compressor or at a large component in the system and you can open up these covers and access this stem which you can then adjust using your refrigeration service wrench. You can adjust this stem to three different positions and depending on which position it's in you either have the system completely closed down or you have access to the service port or the service port is sealed and refrigerant flows normally. And there's some terminology that goes with these. So the, the terminology you'll hear most commonly is if the stem is front seated or back seated or mid seated or middle seated. So the stem right now is all the way out. So it's back seated. This means that Refrigerant can flow from the inlet here through the outlet and if we were to m try and connect to this service port there's no flow to the service port. With the valve in the back seat position this port is sealed. Now if we were to mid seat the valve which is about halfway in, now the valve will let flow go to all three ports. In fact, if we blow in the end, you can hear that air come out the service port. Now if we were to take the valve all the way in, we've front seated the valve. And by front seating the valve, we have sealed the little piston to this outlet fitting. And you can see the little piston inside there. But we've given access for the refrigerant to flow to the service port. So we're front seated, we've closed off the system flow, but we have access at the service port. We'd use this to pump down a system or recover charge. We open this part way back and you can see the, the plunger there. That's the mid seated position. We got flow to all three positions. And if we go all the way back with it, We've now back seated the valve and we've sealed off the service port, but we have flow from the inlet to the outlet. It's very important to recognize the position you need to be in to have flow or not have flow to your service port because this does not have a Schrader valve. So at any time other than a full back seated valve, you have refrigerant to this service port. And if it just has this cap on it, that's not going to be enough. You're going to start losing charge. There's not a lot that I can take apart here without physically destroying the valve, but I think what I'll do is maybe try and cut the body of the valve here so that we can actually take the plunger out and take a look at it. I'll put it over in the vise here, be right back. So we've cut this apart and we've cut the outlet off and hopefully we'll be able to just feed this all the way through now and we can take a look at the sealing system. Gonna feed that stem through. There it is. All right, so there's our plunger. You can see this particular one has some rust on it. It's been sitting a long time. It's a new part, never used, but it was sitting around for quite a while, so it probably had some condensation in it. You can see when you put it into a front seat, it goes all the way down here and you're actually sealing metal on metal. You're, you're crushing the two metal surfaces into each other to create that seal. There's no O-ring or anything there. If we take a look at the back part of the valve, you can just make out the opening. Might be easier if I stick something through it where our service port comes through. You can see it right there. 
So when we backseat the valve, this back taper surface on our plunger would be sealed up against this lip inside here. And because our service port is behind that lip, you get no flow. So it's a pretty straightforward valve. The only other thing here that's worth noting is there's a little seal on the stem. And that stem is here at the back. There's a rubber seal and on a hard seal. And if you think about it, when this stem is all the way back, when we are back seated, there's no refrigerant that can get to this part of the system. So the only time these seals actually see refrigerant is when we're mid seated or front seated. So, very simple valve. Uh, as far as principles of operation, it's, it's really straightforward, right? We're crushing metal on metal to create a seal. We've got a little o-ring seal on the back of this chrome part of the shaft. And that's pretty much it. There's some threads there to create some leverage as we twist. When we talk about how it fails, the, the most common failure that you'll usually see in the field is this stem getting rounded off from people over-torquing it. Uh, second to that, failures you'll see on a valve like this are almost always leak related. Either the valve will no longer seal in a particular position, whether it's front seated or back seated, or it'll just continuously leak. So you can imagine if this valve were to start leaking while it was in the back seated position, eventually we'd start losing charge through our seal at the back here. We could also potentially lose charge through our service port because there's no Schrader there. So it's very important that the valve is all the way back and that it actually seals when it's all the way back. Outside of that, not a whole lot here to go wrong. Pretty simple, pretty reliable. The most important part of this is just understanding the difference between back seated all the way back, front seated all the way forward, and mid seated when you're servicing the system. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hi folks, my name is Jack Kell and I'm a senior technical trainer for SmartCare. The video you've just watched is part of a larger series of technical training videos we make available to our technicians at SmartCare. If you found this interesting and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll be releasing a new component teardown video every Tuesday in 2022. If you're already a SmartCare technician and you have a part that you'd like to see me tear down, please reach out to me internally for shipping instructions. If you're not a SmartCare technician, but you or someone you know would like to learn more about a career as a service technician specializing in commercial restaurant equipment, please check out our open positions at www.smartcaresolutions.com forward slash careers. Thanks for watching.